So this is part two of my April 2016 Hobonichi Techo uh, flip through. And I wound up my last, um, my part one of this, talking about the Starbucks Southwest Steak Wrap, which is kind of random, but it's very good. Highly recommend it. So on Saturday the 16th, I did a 10K in uh, Baltimore, Maryland, the Soul of the City 10K. It was a lot of fun. I had done this last year too, and I hadn't really trained adequately last year. It's a kind of a hilly course. The last couple miles are very much uphill. And um, it, it was good this year. I was still, I was a little bit slower than I'd like to have been because I've been, I'm not a fast runner anyway. I'm usually about a 1030 pace for races and I didn't carry water with me for this 10k so it was a little bit hot and sunny that day and I walked through the water stop so I ended up at like 1040 but it's not bad because it was hilly and um, it was a really nice day we got free lemon shandies afterwards and I bought a new pair of shoes they had a pair on uh, clearance one of the vendors there it was nice they had a band next day I finished oxen free the PC game I've been working on and like I said, I just got Oxen Free on, um, what day did I say? It didn't take me long. Yeah, the 14th. So you can see, even just working on it at night, it's a very short game. I had it finished by Sunday the 17th. Um, it has multiple endings, and I think that they assume you're going to go back and play through to get the other endings. I enjoyed it. Um, I watched the alternate endings on YouTube, but I'm probably not going to replay it just for that. But if you like spooky kind of eerie games. It's really cool. I liked it. I was checking my form for yoga for my downward dog because I always feel like I kind of overthink that position even though it seems it's so simple and basic but it um I wasn't sure if I was doing the right thing so I actually set up my iPad to click a picture of me in down dog so that I could uh, spot check it. And I was surprised. Actually, I looked better than I thought I did. So my down dog isn't as um, off kilter as I thought it might be. The next day, my son had to do a project for school. He had to make flowers out of household stuff. So he did it like probably 90% himself. I gave him a little bit of help here and there, but he did a really good job. We used... Um, little egg carton cups and pipe cleaners and construction paper and we made some flowers. So one project down, one to go because this was his and my daughter had a, a big project due as well that wasn't wasn't due yet but we needed to get his out of the way first and then concentrate on hers. These are these floral washi tapes especially this one I really love. I got it at Paper Source and I like it because it's clear behind the, the flowers so when you tear it up and like scatter the pieces around it. It has a really cool sort of a floral effect, like a confetti, floral confetti effect. Next day, we did some work on our Pinewood Derby car for my, my daughter's Pinewood Derby race. This is the first year we've done this, as I said in part one. So kind of, uh, kind of clueless, and we have a better idea of how to do things next year, but it was still a lot of fun, which is the most important thing. My youngest child, we uh, got some hand-me-down clothes from a friend of ours, and her aunt is Japanese and had summer weight jean bays for her son when he was real little. When he outgrew them, she gave them to her nephew, my, my friend's son. And when he outgrew them, they've now come to my kids. My youngest is the only one small enough for them. So he's been walking around in his little seersucker summer weight jean bay, and it is the cutest thing, and it's a really comfortable outfit for him. He seems to really like it. I'm going to try to, I found some patterns on Etsy and online, and I'm going to get some seersucker and make him some more of those, because they're really great for that age, you know, the thing they're going to toddle around in them, and they're very soft and not hot. They've got kind of I didn't draw it here, but they have sort of inserts in the shoulders, like little lacy inserts that let the air go through. So on a sunny day, they're great. My Stitch Fix, getting ready to ship, I was very excited. And once it shipped, I could see what I was getting, that I'd be getting a necklace, jeans, a dress, a blue shirt, a pink shirt. That was a picture of the necklace. 
I went to my daughter's elementary school to help them. Um, the girls are doing an after school running program and the 21st was their practice 5K. That just to give them an idea of what the distance was. They'd been training for it and they had run, I think they'd run between a mile and a half to two miles at that point, but they wanted them to, um, to get a better idea of exactly what the 5K distance was. So I went down there with them and helped supervise and run the 5K with the girls. It's my poor little dog is coughing over there, if you hear that. Uh, the next day, I went to a local uh, farmer shop, and I bought a big jar of vanilla-infused peaches. I, I had gone there to get some uh, meat. We have a local um, meat processor there, and I love being able to support the farmers around here. And it, it's just really good. It's not factory produced. It's all very small batch. And um, in addition, they had these uh, canned peaches with vanilla, so I bought a big jar of those. They were delicious. We had our derby on Saturday, our uh, Pinewood Derby. Like I said, it's a learning experience. I kept telling my daughter that. I'm like, this is the first time we're doing this. Some of these families have been doing it for years and years and years and know how to make efficient little derby cars. We're trying to figure it out. So it was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed it. And I'm hoping that our um, Girl Scout unit will do a derby race again next year because I think it'll be fun. Later that day, we bought Undertale. I played it for about an hour with uh, my daughter. She's been asking and asking for Undertale. So we got it, and she's going to take it over and, and play through it because it's a really neat game. It's a very cool concept, but it is a pretty time-intensive game, and I just don't have the time to devote to it. As soon as I saw that there were random uh, combat encounters, I was like, okay, I do not have time for it. And, RPG with random combat encounters at this point in my life, but she's playing it and she's really enjoying it and giving me the the uh, updates on what she's doing. She's playing for the pacifist ending. So Sunday the 24th, I kind of just took a slack day. I skipped yoga, I stayed home, did some sewing, caught up on laundry, we had some beers and cooked out in the backyard. The weather was good. Went up the road um, for Italian ices and frozen custard for dessert. It was just a really nice day. And kind of continued into Monday. It was the first day of the season for one of the local seafood places on the water. So we went down there and got some crabs and corn and clams. And it was beautiful. It was very, very cool. And my Stitch Fix showed up. That's the seal from the Stitch Fix box. I had a really good experience with it. I kept all five items. I've definitely got some tips if anybody uh, wants some Stitch Fix tips. it's um, I've only done it the once so far. I have it set up to do again in July. I cannot in any way afford to be doing it every month, but it was good. Tuesday the 26th, voted. Schools were closed for voting. I took the kids with me and cast my ballot. And not nearly as important, but still a victory. I managed to, I've been letting my hair grow out so that I can pin it up. And I think I may have finally figured out how to get a good messy bun that isn't like falling out all the time. Because my hair is very fine. And it's hard sometimes to keep it looking decent if I pin it up. But it, I like having it out of my way. I think I may have mastered my messy bun. Probably using way too much, way too many hairpins. But whatever works. It's actually a little hot. I ran three miles, and um, I probably should have waited about an hour closer to evening to run those three miles because, yeah, it was hot. On the 27th, uh, I found one golden apple. My daughter's project was due. She was she wrote a report on Atalanta from Greek mythology, and she needed to make a costume. She came up with her costume all on her own from stuff around the house. But I helped her. She needed a golden apple for um, Atalanta's story that her suitor dropped golden apples for her to pick up and that um, slowed her down enough that he was able to win the, the foot race between them so she would marry him. And we went out to Michael's and we bought a plastic apple and my neighbor had some gold spray paint. So we brought it home and we spray painted the apple gold for her, her prop. I used some more of these Shopkins stickers here that we got from the Hallmark store. 
On Thursday the 28th, that was actually the day her project was due. She brought it in. We spray painted the apple on Wednesday. She brought it in on Thursday. Thursday night, my very sweet husband brought home a six-pack of Strongbow Cherry Blossom Cider for me. That was wonderful of him because that stuff is delicious. If you like hard cider, the Cherry Blossom Strongbow, wonderful. And it's a beautiful color, too. I made one of my favorite dinners on Friday. I think it was originally a Rachel Ray recipe. It's nothing fancy, but I like it. It's just um, spaghetti and... You make a sauce with the canned crushed tomatoes, garlic, a little bit of sugar, salt, and olive oil, and um, leeks, bacon, and parmesan. And it's delicious. I love it. And finally, last day of the month, we went out, had a breakfast at the local Amish market, and did a stop at the comic book store on the way home. It was a beautiful morning. We are getting better at taking our youngest out to eat. He was kind of a pain in the butt at uh, restaurants for a while, but um, he, he was great at the Amish market. We had a big booth, and he had lots of room, and he was perfectly well-behaved and ate his pancakes, and life was good. I also purchased the Room 3 on the iPad. It's like a logic puzzle game, and I had played through the Room 1 and 2 already with my older son, we enjoy playing those together and um, really happy to see the room three has been out. I didn't realize the third one had been released a while ago. So that was a lot of fun and I actually just beat that the other night. Small thought for the week. Um, we kind of miss our New York City days. We, My husband and I have never lived up there, but we have some very, very close friends that live in the city. And when we were younger, years and years ago, we used to go up all the time to hang out with them and walk around, you know, and just eat uh, from New York City food shops and um, stroll around and people watch and shop. And the city has changed a lot since we used to spend time up there. It's, um, it's very different, but we still miss it. Good times. And fortunately, we're going to be getting together with those friends pretty soon anyway. So I miss them at least as much, definitely more than, than the city itself. But we'll be seeing them soon, so that's good. Alrighty, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.